Okay, so now we're going to take a look at some real 4K video. This TV was developed by Marseille Networks. We built it ourselves. It uses a 4K panel and it's a 60 inch panel and we built our own TV so we could develop the very best quality algorithms and also so we could demonstrate them to customers and to the media because the TVs are just now appearing in the retail market for sale. We needed a TV two years ago as we developed the technology and developed the algorithms. So there you have it. This is 4K. Four times the resolution of today's full HD. It's 8.3 megapixels. Beautiful picture. It also is the first real display technology that can give a 3D experience without glasses. One of the problems with the consumer adoption of 3D has been the need to wear glasses. A lot of people don't want to wear glasses in their home. So with 4K display, we have enough pixels to give a beautiful 1080p 3D experience with no glasses. And also with 8.3 megapixels, we have a full resolution that's equivalent to the, the best camera today, say in the iPhone 4S is an 8 megapixel camera. You can see the details very clear, even what people are wearing. It's something consumers have never really seen before. But you know, everyone's getting used to mobile devices that have very high resolution displays and very high pixel density on the phone, on the tablet. And so consumers' eyes are really getting used to high pixel density and high resolution. So 4K is finally going to bring that to the TV. So the first thing we're trying to do with our technology is deliver a very near 4K viewing experience from standard HD content. We've developed a solution, a chip level solution, algorithms, software, so that from standard HD content like Blu-ray or broadcast, consumers can watch that on a 4K TV and, and experience HD as if it were 4K. So here we have an example of native 4K video. It's very clear, very detailed. A DVD, standard definition DVD, represents this amount of pixel information, almost 400K pixels in a DVD. A Blu-ray, or full HD, 1080p, represents about 2 million pixels. And the problem is, if the TV receives this HD signal and just stretches it for a larger screen, we're going to lose a lot of detail. A lot of the details when they stretch or upscale by the TV is not so clear anymore. And artifacts are introduced. You can see here we stretch it up. And if you look very closely, you see lots of jagged edges where there are sharp changes in color around the sweater, people's clothing, striped clothing, just looks very blocky and unattractive. Uh, you can see pixels everywhere, blocks, edges get jaggy, and text, you know, in the menu system, in the menu and UI, can really look terrible if it's just stretch. So at Marseille, our key technology is how to process HD video and then pre-process it and then scale it so that we retain the detail and don't introduce these distortions. So here I have a side-by-side -side comparison blown up or zoom in. You can really see the difference. This side is the Marseille process and scale video and this side is just HD. So it's a very dramatic difference and a much better viewing experience for the consumer. If, if you watch this 
Marseille processed video from a comfortable viewing distance, you cannot even tell the dis difference to real native 4K. The left side of the screen here is native 4K. The right side is plain old HD scaled up to 4K by the Marseille technology. And you cannot see the difference at a, at a comfortable uh, viewing distance. See, you can almost see no difference. So that's the key technology in the company is how to take regular HD content, Blu-ray, could be satellite, cable, and create a very near native 4K viewing experience for the consumer. It's a real trend right now in the consumer electronics market to add 4K output to source devices like Blu-ray. I have two Blu-ray players here and this, this model right here from Sony has 4K output. And if you look in the, in the ads or on the internet, we got this information from the newspaper in Hong Kong. Both Sony and Philips are selling uh, Blu-ray players. They both offer Blu-ray players that have 4K output. And those Blu-ray players typically sell for a premium of about 100 US dollars because of the, uh, the 4K output feature. And what we're saying at Marseille is that's a, that's a premium feature. It's, a, it's a, a high end feature. And the quality should be excellent, really, really high quality. And that's what we've tried to do with our processor and scaler. Here you can see what graphics looks like in 4K. So imagine uh, next generation game machines or animated movies that are shot in 4K and displayed in 4K. It's really stunning. Consumers never seen anything like it. Even close to the screen, you cannot even see the pixels. So the 4K market, it's the next generation in high definition TV. It's starting to happen. There are TVs in the market. There are source devices in the market like Blu-ray that, that can upscale. We're bringing a solution to market, a single chip, very uh, reasonable price point for a Blu-ray player or set-top box, a single chip that can pre-process HD video and scale it to 4K and deliver a near native 4K viewing experience for the consumer. It's good. GPU? No, no. It's a proprietary. A GPU is, is a good compute engine, but it's programmable. And so it's power consumption, it's cost. And it needs memory, usually, external memory. So we've, what we've done is develop our own dedicated silicon for specifically for one thing. Take standard definition or HD content, pre-process it, and then scale it to a maximum of 4K output. Yeah, sure. I mean, the, the car you saw, those graphics are that's uh, native 4K graphics mm -hmm. authored on a computer. OK? So we're displaying it here to show, uh, to show people what does 4K graphics look like mm -hmm. in real life, because most people have never seen it. Um, but what we've done is our preprocessor is you know, the, really the core IP of the company. And it involves uh, algorithms we developed specifically for edge enhancement, detail enhancement or sharpness, and noise reduction. Mm -hmm. And we do those on a pixel basis. Every single pixel we look at, process according to our proprietary algorithm, mm -hmm. and then go into the scaler and scale. So the result is 
you know, very, very close to native 4K? I think both. I mean, we have to, uh, you can always do more processing if you have external memory. You can capture many frames and compare frames. But we understand the Blu-ray market and the consumer market is very cost sensitive. So we develop the algorithms and then optimize and tune to make them as, best, as very best we can at the low cost and no external memory. Otherwise, the chip is, is too large or too expensive or too much power, need too much memory, and no meaning in consumer electronics. Must be very small, very efficient. Yeah, we've heard stories of you know, 4K TVs that use you know, hundreds of dollars of FPGAs and custom logic to, to scale to 4K. <clears throat> if you talk to the TV makers about their solutions, some of them are using very large solution. Uh, we think this is the first one that's very specific for pre-processing and then scaling standard definition and high definition to 4K. Well, right now, the size you saw is our pr planned production size. In the future, if, you know, if, say, in the mobile market or some markets are very sensitive to size, the size we have right now for uh, the first chip is, is very good for Blu-ray and set-top box. It's 12 by 12 millimeter. Uh, maybe in the future, if there's market requirement to be smaller, we will, you know, we will look at that. But right now, our customers feel very comfortable that this size power uh, is, is a good fit for Blu-ray or set-top box. This part is 65 nanometer TSMC built. You're welcome. Thank you for coming.